Hey everyone, it's Rahim Rishi, the third year graduation student with business major. During my first year at university, I decided to go digital with my educational matters like notes, books and other such stuff. From that day, I am literally enjoying this entire process and have developed love with the technology. This channel is a small contribution to bring some change with my experiences in the world of digital education. As all of you would have read in the title that we are going to discuss about my shift from iPhone 6s to iPhone 12 in this video. I will be sharing why I make this shift, how big of a change it was and does I love or regret spending my money on this newer iPhone from the last year. I may not be explaining all the technical specifications about the device in this video and will explain just the ones which are related here. It's been almost 3 years that I am using iPhone 6s 64GB variant as my daily driver for university related tasks, light gaming and even photography. I must say that I am not a hardcore phone user and mostly bring my phone in use for WhatsApp messaging, occasional photography, for using some educational apps as per my university teacher's requirements and sometimes for watching YouTube obviously and some stuff like that. For all these tasks, even after being out of uh, for so long iPhone 6s was not getting me into any kind of trouble or even lagging. I also tested iPhone 6s by playing some games like Asphalt and even Call of Duty Mobile and I must say that this is the point where it starts to show its age but for a light user like me the games were very much playable. So the point is that why I decided to shift to a newer much expensive phone when I was not facing any bigger troubles while using iPhone 6s. So one of the biggest issue with me while using iPhone 6s was the screen size. Being at 4.7 inches, the iPhone 6s screen usually stops me from being more productive with replying to emails, noting down instant ideas on the notes app, watching online lectures and much more of the such tasks. I would like to add that I also own an iPad which is used for note taking and as a place to store and read all my books digitally. I usually enjoy taking notes on it while watching lectures we are receiving online from our instructors on my iPhone. Being such a small display, it usually requires a lot of effort most of the time to focus on slides shown in the lecture and slows down the process of grabbing information for me. This was a major reason but not the only one for which I need a bigger display. Being on campus during the last semester, we often have gaps between the lectures and apart from studying, I enjoy watching some Netflix or YouTube to kill some time like most of the students obviously. In this era of huge mobile phones, it's uh, actually hard to imagine for most of the people that what does a movie feel like when playing on a 4.7 inches display of iPhone 6s. As I have mentioned earlier that I own an iPad but keeping in view that its weight and size, it is often difficult for me to use it on campus while hanging out in the corridor which I mostly do when free. Hence a good sized phone seems to be the best bet for me. If you guys are not familiar, let me quote that iPhone 6s had a single 12 megapixel wide camera whereas iPhone 12 rocks two 12 megapixels wide and ultra wide lenses. Even having same, same main camera as iPhone 12 iPhone 6s camera really shows its age now. There is not powerful A14 bionic chipset in this old master masterpiece which stops its sensors from capturing such vivid details and processing them like the modern iPhone 12 could do. Recently I have been developing an interest in mobile photography and for that having a great camera always with me apart from bigger DSLRs or mirrorless cameras is a great blessing which forced me to shift to a newer iPhone. Still, I must say that iPhone 6s has produced some great images as compared to the Android devices released with it and the photography is dependent on skills more than it does on the hardware. That's also a truth which could not be denied. Being such an old device, iPhone 6s battery had been uh, degraded noticeably. Keeping that in mind that 17 hours battery life claim of Apple about their iPhone 12 really grabs my attention and I must say that soon after buying this device I have forgotten that iPhone works on the battery. I am currently using 20 watt Apple charger to quick charge my iPhone 12 and it is so snappy that I am not worried about plugging in my phone and waiting for it to charge for decades anymore like I used to do with iPhone 6s. Not most important for me but yeah a fancy feature Apple introduced with the iPhone 12 lineup was MagSafe. I am not a fan of wireless charging even if it is 12 watt and fast charge my phone like MagSafe do but this is also because these chargers noticeably damage the battery in no time. 
So why did I mention MagSafe here? Actually the answer is that MagSafe does not only bring fast wireless charging to the iPhone but also bought the support for some really cool accessories like MagSafe battery packs and wallets. I am a huge fan of minim uh, minimal leather wallets and own a few of them. Seeing the new Apple leather wallet makes me super excited about it. I know that it is in no means a cheaper product retailing at $59 and it is a lot of money to spend but my love for such wallets and additional MagSafe capabilities in it which are a noticeable factor for me while making decision to buy the new iPhone 12. So more or less these were all the major factors which made me shift from iPhone 6s to iPhone 12. But I must add there that this was not all. There is some society pressure too which affect my decision because there is no one in my friend circle except me and my friend who had such a old device. My friend shifted to an iPhone 10 uh, whereas I shifted toward the iPhone 12. But this was a minor reason, uh, reason but all the reasons explained above were the measures which uh, just made me shift towards the newer iPhone 12. So fellows that's all in this video. Hope it helps you guys making the decision that do you need to buy a newer iPhone 12 or in fact any other newer iPhone this year. There are a lot more videos related to technology and digital education on the way. Kindly subscribe to the channel so you get to see them when I post them and please like this video if it was helpful for you and comment to give us suggestions or recommendations as the channel is comparatively new and your interaction in it may help it grow. Have a good day everyone.